show those rotten Saiyans who's boss. Have you figured it out yet? Goku's not the only Saiyan. You're looking at one right now. A mysterious boy who claims to know Goku's future has appeared and revealed an unexpected turn of events. Three years from now, you'll discover an android created by a scientist named Dr. Jiro. And in one year, you, Goku, will die from a heart virus. But I can help you. As hard as it is to believe, this young boy named Trunks is the son of Bulma and Vegeta. And he has traveled back in time from the future. Before returning back to his own time, Trunks gave Goku some very potent heart medicine. It has now been three years since that day. A new threat. Goku, you know you don't stand a chance against us. We've been watching you. We've seen all of your battles with our spy robots. Oh, really? Did you make sure to watch all of my battles on planet Namek? There was no need. We learned all we needed to learn from your scuffles with Vegeta. You revealed all of your powers and techniques. Maybe, but you've overlooked a very important detail. I'm stronger than you think. Well, it looks like you've managed to power up quite a bit, haven't you? But I can beat you at this level. And I know that 19 can take you with his eyes closed. All right. Why don't you both get over here, and we'll see how strong you really are! to defeat Kakarot, it's me! So stay out of my way, you robotic punk! Vegeta had finally transformed into a Super Saiyan! But unfortunately, he wasn't strong enough to beat the newly awakened android. Uh, uh. <laughs> Be patient. 17 and 18 are just around the corner. We need a more powerful warrior for this fight. We must become one. Until the next. 
get one in line for this. The Nami Piccolo. You seem to think quite highly of yourself, knowing exactly who I am. <laughs> it's a pity, but you can be so powerful. It's so stupid. A wicked omen. Just who do you think you are? <laughs> you can call me Cell. I'm an android from the future, and I've been constructed from the cells of the strongest fighters on this planet. But why? Why did you come here from the future? To absorb the energy of Android 17 and 18. To absorb the energy from all of humanity. And to finally reach my perfect state. Nothing is going to get between me and the perfection I've come here to achieve. Certainly not you. <laughs> so let's go! On the run from Piccolo, Cell's power increases with each person he absorbs. Goku, you're up! Are you okay? Yeah. I'm feeling a lot better. But I can't win with my power level so low. I'm taking Gohan to train with me. Bye, Chi-Chi. The next day, there is a knock at the door. Hello. Is Goku at home? Sneaky Cell. You're dead if you don't start talking. Got it. <laughs> Your idle threats won't work on me. I'm 
can't surprise someone as strong as you with an enhanced. But, unlike you, my power never decreases. I'm just getting started. No! Cell! <laughs> At last, the day I waited so long for is here. No one can stop me! I will absorb Android 17 and 18 and reach my final perfect form! <laughs> You're back! Huh? I can feel the energy from Vegeta and Trunks. Good, so they must still be alive. But I can also feel cells. Goku and Gohan have finished their training in the hyperbolic time chamber. But upon their emergence, they hear the news that Cell has achieved his perfect form. In ten days, I am going to hold a martial arts turkey. I hope I'll be treated to worthy adversary. So, Mr. Self-Confidence, did you discover something of value in the hyperbolic time chamber? <laughs> it sure did! Yeah! You're a world champion! Hercule will crush that tail like he's one of those peeled grapes! Yeah! <laughs> Look at him. Could he be a bigger idiot? After ten days of anticipation, the fateful day finally arrived. I look forward to this. Good. I hope you're ready. Cell's game begins. Right. Let's get started. Goku's the first to go down. Well, that's really too bad. I was hoping I could save the best for last. Let's go. Sensu beans that way. The match can continue to be a great one. I'm finished. I'm done fighting. I can see the depths of your power, and Cell, I give this bout to you.
This next round will probably be the last one of the tournament. If you win it, Cell, there's no one left on this planet who can beat you. Gohan, you're up next! Come on! What? Don't be foolish. If you couldn't defeat Cell, what makes you think Gohan could do it? Piccolo, Gohan possesses incredible powers, the likes of which we've never seen before. It was revealed to me for the first time in the hyperbolic time chamber. Now, Gohan, this is your chance to bring peace back to the world. Got it, Dad. I'll do my best. A warrior beyond Goku. You're a conceited child, full of nothing but fantasy. You might be lucky, however, because you'll probably be dead well before you discover fear.
Let's stop this. This senseless fighting is useless. I don't... I don't want to fight anymore. I hate killing as much as I hate you. I'm starting to understand why Dad said that only I could defeat you. Ever since I was a child, I've had trouble controlling my temper. Whenever I get angry, I get in fights and I have no control over my powers. And I never stop until the other person is incapable of fighting back. That's why. That's why Dad wanted me to fight you. That's a very nice monologue. But you don't expect me to be scared, after all. You are only a child. And just maybe, your little speech has inspired me to anger you. While trying to infuriate Gohan, Cell delivers a devastating blow to Android 16. And the Cell Juniors join in the fight, too. Stop! Stop it! Stop the fighting! Gohan! Huh? Was that you? There is nothing wrong with fighting to bring about peace. Breathe. Breathe your spirit as your anger rises. I... I know how you feel, but you can't hold back any longer. Give your big mouth a rest, you factory recall. <laughs> Gohan I can't hold it back! You guys are dead! Yeah! <laughs> 
You seem quite confident for a toddler. Do you actually think you stand a chance against me? No question about it.
You're up against this round, little man. Only son. Stay out of my way, Vegeta. I'll end the suspense if you wish. Very soon, you will all be dead. Along with your entire planet! <laughs> What's wrong, little warrior? Has your incredible power died? I'm finished. There's no use in fighting back anymore. Come on, Gohan. Uh, Don't uh, give up. Uh, Use the pain uh, of loss. Uh, Dad? Dad, is that you? I... I can't see you. Are you there? I'm not with you, son. I'm someplace else. But I want you to attack him with the Kamehameha wave. That's the only thing I can think of that will lay him out for sure. But... But, Dad, I only have the use of one of my arms, and my energy level is less than half. No. You can do it, son. You just have to let go. I'll try it. 
look inside yourself. It's there you'll find the power you need. Yes. Yes! Everyone, it's Goku here. King Kai is letting me talk to you from Otherworld right now, so I really don't have that long. I remember, Bulma told me something a long time ago about how it seemed like I always attract the bad guys. And when you stop and think about it, in a way that's true. I think the world might just be safer without me. So, I know it might be hard on Chi Chi and Gohan, but don't bother wishing me back to life. Don't worry, we'll meet again one day. I'll be waiting for you. Bye!